guys, what's up? This is Millie here. Now, after last week's intense messages, I thought I'd keep this week relatively cool and do a couple of hotel reviews. Um, so for today, I'm going to review the W Hotel in Hong Kong. I stayed there in December 2012, and I, this hotel is an expensive hotel. It is a five-star hotel, I believe, and it's worthy of all its five stars. The W Hong Kong is located in Kowloon, um, just above the train slash metro station. Um, also, Kowloon is one of the train slash metro stations um, from where you can get a train to any of the lines or any of the points that you want to go to. For those of you who haven't been to Hong Kong, um, the train you catch depends on the train line. Uh, for example, the red line, the blue line, etc, etc. Uh, another thing is, in Hong Kong actually, a lot of other Asian cities as well, you often have to switch, um, you know, the lines, uh, as in you need to switch the trains, depending on where you go to. It's a very smooth transition and it's not very uncommon around cities in Asia. So the proximity to the train station comes in handy and considering it's one of those, you know, main stations where you can get uh, trains on any line that makes it even more helpful. Um, Kowloon is also one of the stops uh, where the Airport Express uh, train goes on. The Airport Express train only goes on I think three stops or maybe four but that's it and Kowloon is one of them. I absolutely loved my stay at this hotel um, and I love this hotel as well. I think they have a uh, pool on the 75th floor if I remember correctly, give or take a couple of floors. Um, they have a nice gym, it's a small gym but it has all the necessary equipment that you would use when you're on holiday anyway. Um, they have a spa massage place which I did not use unfortunately, I'm not quite sure why but they have that. Their breakfast arrangements are amazing. In general, if you're ever traveling um, to any city in Asia and you're staying at a hotel, if you can afford a couple of extra bucks, get the breakfast option because breakfast in Asian hotels are the best. Most if not all of the Asian cities um, where I've stayed at a hotel and we've you know, purchased the breakfast option, I've not regretted it at all. So just to reinforce that fact, breakfast buffet in hotels around Asia are really, really good. Also, if you're anything like me and you like to go crazy with um, room service, provided someone else is paying for you, <coughs> I didn't say that. Holy mother of God, the cafe lattes in Hong Kong and Bangkok. I'm gonna let you finish. These are the best cafe lattes you ever have. Anywho, back to reviewing this hotel. The rooms we had were really nice and comfortable. Um, the staff were really helpful. Uh, they also provided a travel adapter in the room, which was really handy because I always lose mine. And they had really good, um, you know, options on their room service menu. And the Wu Bar, uh, I think that that's what it's called if memory serves me right, is a really great place to grab drinks hot or cold, you know, with friends and family. Um, so all in all, this is a really gr great place to stay. Um, and if there are any questions you have about this hotel or my experiences there, uh, leave them in the comments below. I will try answering them the best I can. Um, and if you've stayed at this hotel, please leave your experiences in the comments below as well. I make videos every Monday and Wednesday and my social media links are in the description below. So I will see you next time.